Welcome, this is Bulldog Gaming. Today I'm going to show you um, an open AI to help with Unreal Engine. Um, it's GBT's AI system, I believe it's called. Um, now this open AI is a very, very, very handy tool. Um, I've only a couple of days ago just discovered it. Um, and this video is how this can help you with your Unreal Engine tutorials, for example. So, if you go to openai.com, now I don't know if anyone knows this, but this particular software um, was created by Elon Musk. Um, you can use it for any other sort of writing templates, um, keyword generators, um, anything along those lines, and we will bring out more videos to help out towards this. Um, but this video is specifically how OpenAI can help you with Unreal Engine 5. Now, once you enter the website, you'll it will come you'll you'll come to this page. Now you can try it at the top because this is still in beta. And and what this is is you can ask this anything you want. Now Unreal Engine 5 what can we ask it so I asked it to help me for example even though I know how to do this but I asked it to help me create a sprinting system for Unreal Engine 5 so I, if I type in can you make me a blueprint code for sprinting in Unreal Engine 5. Now it won't generate the blueprint for you but what it will do it will create you a step-by-step -step guide. So it's telling you what you need to do. Look, create a new blueprint for your character and add a float variable for sprint speed. In the event graph add an input action mapping for sprint this can be done by right clicking on your graph and selecting add action mapping. Create a branch and you add so forth as you can see it's, it's generating the steps that you need to achieve to build this particular blueprint. Now this works on many other things. Um, this will work on uh, equipment, equipment, equipping swords. This will help on animations. This will give you a step by step guide to help you proceed in Unreal Engine 5. Now, um, I've watched a hell of a lot of YouTube channels and obviously it's a lot easier to watch a YouTube channel video about sprinting because you can follow their steps by steps. But what I find is that for the couple of years that I was learning Unreal Engine, you know, about five years ago now, um, a lot that I was learning I was just copying. I wasn't learning, I was copying. Where if I had this sort of tool, and you're reading this and working it from a description you can you're sort of learning yourself you're sort of giving yourself a you know you're sort of learning yourself you're not copying from someone else's and the thing is is a lot of a lot of game developers on Unreal Engine 5 do things completely different to other game developers so there's always that is that the right way 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 now this AI generator gives you anything you want so for example say you was making a quest system yeah you can ask this AI generator to generate you a quest that you want to put that you want to implement if you ain't got that creativity side this will give you that creativity side so you can say um, make me a quest for a RPG game okay and what this is going to do is going to create you a quest so the quest tile is the missing artifact the objective is to retrieve the lost artifact from the ruin of the old temple and bring back a village elder these are the steps so you can copy and paste these steps into Unreal Engine 5 which are your steps once they've completed these steps it will then 
Look, this is a simple quest structure that can expand upon tailing to your specific game design and settings. You can add additional steps, sub-quests and choices to make the quest more complex for interesting for players. Now, we need, look, this is us make me a quest. Okay? So, it's going to make us another quest for an RPG game. The Lost Heirloom. So the objective again is to retrieve. It's going to give us the what what you've got to do in your quest, and then obviously the quest rewards after generating this. Okay, this can generate a lot of stuff. A simple quest structure upon tailored for specific games. Now, for example, another example that can help with uh, Unreal Engine, and it literally the sky's the limit with this. This. Uh, this AI, this little software that they're that they're designing here is very, very clever. Um, so, for example, say you want you want look, create me a C plus 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 oh plus plus code for sprinting. Okay, and what this is going to do, it might take a little while to generate, but it's going to write you in Python the code for sprinting. Okay, so you can implement this straight into your C++. Slots. There you go. It's, it's as easy as that. The sky's the limit. Okay, so... I'm going to have a mess about with this for the next three weeks. I'm going to any any more interesting things that come up for Unreal Engine 5. I will definitely let you know about it and do a short video. But thanks for watching, taking your time. I appreciate it. This is Bulldog Games. Also, if you're watching this, don't forget to watch our seven-day challenge, the boxing game. Um, it's coming along very well. What it is, is it's a seven-day challenge where I build a boxing game in seven days. So we get a post every day, you'll get a video every day, and uh, yeah, we'll see how we proceed. But as you can tell, this is still generating this piece of code for your C++. But anyway, on that bombshell, thank you so much for watching. Bye.